A drunk driver got on the freeway going the wrong way at about 80 miles an hour, hit me head on. Pronounced dead at the scene, his body devastated. Doctors said it would be a miracle if Elrod survived. My heart stopped for six minutes and six days later I woke from a coma uh, to find out that uh, I had permanent brain damage. Doctors weren't sure if he would ever walk again. In fact, they were surprised that he even survived. Three weeks after the accident of being found dead, I took my first step and I was on the road to recovery and two months after the accident, I left the hospital. The doctors thought I was in denial because I was so happy and positive. They thought that I was so happy because I couldn't accept my reality, so I was faking it. I can't change what happened to me. I can't change that I was in an accident. The only choice I have is to make the most of what I have. He's a miracle, man. He's a walking, talking miracle. Dead six minutes. That didn't happen. His story, his message, his sincerity, a top speaker. One that I would continue to bring in year after year after year. If you really want to change your life um, and up your game, go and see how he will change your life. You've got to meet an important client and you just hit bumper to bumper, dead still trapped. Has anybody found that if you put enough resistance and, and negative energy into the speed of the cars in front of you that it moves them? I woke up the next morning and I did six of the most powerful personal development practices that I had ever learned but never done. Meditation, visualization, affirmations, exercise, reading, and journaling. All of, in an hour. Those are all of my mental health activities. <laughs> Do you ever see anyone that's depressed, that's on fire, right? They're like, dude, I am so depressed. I can't even handle it. I can't even get out of bed in the morning. Just if you get a chance to see how, I mean, go for it. The guy is amazing. There are actionable items that are coming out of the uh, presentation that Hal gave us today that I think a lot of people fall short on. And I would encourage uh, people to, to bring him on for sure. You gotta go, I don't feel like it but I know I need to do it, so I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna pick up the phone, like any three-year-old could do. You're like, hey, three-year-old, will you go pick up the phone and push um, seven buttons? They'd be like, oh, that's great, okay. <laughs> Raise your hand if you uh, have heard this phrase before, that everything happens for a reason. Right, if you're going through the worst day ever and somebody puts their hand on your shoulder and they go, hey buddy, I know it's hard, but everything happens for a reason, you'll see. Right, you're just like, shut up. See, everything happens for a reason, but it's 100% our responsibility to choose the reasons. Now prove it. I love you guys. Thank you.